Hey, you arrive and I'll just leave him. Hey, watch it, you. <laughs> no, I'm going to do a couple of hours in the library, so I said I'd give Marlon a knock on the way. Hey, what kept you? Hey, it's not about speed, you know. Oh, Stammer is the name in this game. You're knackered on both counts, aren't you? <laughs> hey, what is the attraction of rolling around on a muddy rugby pitch with a load of sweaty men? Hey, on second thoughts, can I come training with you? <laughs> oh, no, I would hate you to break a nail. You blokes are so resourceful. Have you never heard of gloves? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't be taking the mickey if you were earning mega bucks playing rugby. I've said it before, Will, but I wouldn't push you if I didn't think you had it in you. Morning, Steve. Whatever. Hey, well, you could aim for something higher, like a job at the quarry. <laughs> no women, but as many rocks as you can break. Yeah, hardly. I've got ten grade AGCSEs, and I'm going to get a handful of A-levels. Ah, I bet he used to talk like that and all. No, you can't stay at Kirsty's tonight. Oh. Anyway, she's too old for you. Should be grateful I've got a mate. Look, your mum says you're not going, and that's final. At this rate, I'll be moving to Zoe's as well. Did you see the way Kelly looked at me last night? Oh, she really hated me. She's been looking at me like that for years, Vic. Yeah, I know. And I've let her get away with it. It hurts like hell, doesn't it? You think you're protecting them by not telling them the truth, but when they find out, it just cuts deeper. We did our best. It just wasn't good enough. We're both cowards, Vic. I've got to admit, it's not very nice around here at the moment. I promise I'll be in bed by nine. The grand will be in to keep an eye on us. If you don't believe me, you can even ring Kirsty's mum. Please. Yeah. Go on, then. you better go and pack yourself Brilliant. Up. I'll see you tomorrow. What about clean clothes for school? Have you already packed them? We're completely hopeless. She knew we'd say yes. You don't mind, do you, love? No, no, no. But you're right, we are. We're, we're useless. All our kids are happier away from home. Betty's going away today. How am I supposed to manage? It's not my problem. I'm supposed to be helping Eric shift antiquities around the village. Ah. What? Helping you. Is it time for school yet? Problem? Oh, give me strength. I would have thought it was perfectly obvious. I am the only person doing any work around here. OK, OK. I'll take Alice to school and you've got Marlon in the kitchen. Well, you know where the frying pan is. We'll see you later. Lisa says we've got to keep it nice. She won't be able to complain then. Well, why can't we just have a breakfast in our bit? Well, there's no tin. Anyway, I like to spend as much time as possible in the big house. Dad, why don't we just tell the coppers what we found? The dingo's in charge of her body. We'd all be banged up by tea time. Morning. 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 Uh, where the hell do you think you are? Right? Uh, well, this is the kitchen, isn't it? Oh! Oh, you're up. We want to surprise you. Believe me, I couldn't be more surprised. You're supposed to be staying in the nursery flat. This is all Lisa's idea. Well, it gets a bit crowded there, you know. The kitchen's a bit titchy. We like to spread out a bit. We thought you wouldn't mind. You might like the company. Oh, she's like that, is Lisa. Come on, will you cheer up? Please, when are you leaving? Well, not until the repairs are done on our place. I nearly died, you know. You wouldn't want a lawsuit on your hands now, would you? I'd risk it. <laughs> He's got the right sense of humour, him, hasn't he? <laughs> you know, a table set like this, right, reminds me of this lovely b, &B I stopped in in Filey. Oh, how sweet. No, it was. But it were a lot classier than this place. You didn't have to have your breakfast in the kitchen. They had a dinette and everything. Yes! <laughs> Shall I take you into class? No, I'm seven now, and people might think you're my granddad. Tell me. Well, off you go then. Have a nice day at school. Bye. Oh! I've forgotten this. I buy this off Claire Goodwin. I've watched it 12 times. Oh! <laughs> How exciting for Auntie Cathy. <laughs> Don't tell her I told you. I'm only supposed to have one video a day. I watch it when she's out. Out? At work. I wasn't supposed to tell you. I'll get into trouble. Please don't tell on me. <laughs> don't worry. I won't. Bye. Bye. Auntie Cathy's going to be in big trouble. We're looking at £150,000. <laughs> Only you could clinch a deal like that. Not that I'll see any of it myself. All my money goes straight out to creditors. I really admire the way you've kept. 
I'd have to kill myself if I couldn't go shopping. Oh, well, roll on the summer sales, eh? <laughs> Hiya! Hiya! How are you settling in? Oh, it's great. Room's a bit porky, but well, we're coping. I'm thinking of bombing our house, though. I can get used to this. <laughs> I don't think so. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> you must be out of your tiny mind. Oh, it is perhaps a little out of control. <laughs> I did hope that you at least would see the funny side. Got more important things to think about, haven't we? Ah, oh, like finding a nice lady to look after this little one. She sure doesn't have to go to the boring stud by with any mummy every day. <laughs> oh, so ta-ra, then. Ta-ra. Well, aren't you even going to give us a kiss goodbye? People might talk. We share the same bed. What else is there to talk about? Don't say bed in the street. Oh, get inside, you... Oh... To the station, madam? Hey, you better get this thing back to Oakwell Hall before someone sees it's missing. And I thought you girls liked to be treated. It's with her ladyship's kind permission. Oh, aye. And what did you have to give her in return? You did... Oh, tell me you haven't. All right, then. I haven't. You have, haven't you? You mucky little... Ball. Will you just get in the car before the old village knows? Oh, I'll never forgive you for this befouler. Aye, oh, I know. First juicy bit of gossip you've had in months and you're off on your orders. Must be killing you. No, it's not just the gossip. It's your past, your future. Oh, we could have chewed the fat over this one for days. Will you just admire the interior and shut up, woman? Hey, not been snogging her in here, have you? <sighs> How many breakfast covers did you do this morning? Not enough to make much of a profit, even though I was run off my feet. Oh, well, it's, a, it's early days, isn't it? Eric, I'm sorry I lost my temper with you. I'm sorry. I must say, Alice seems very chill. Uh, don't know why, poor kid. I hardly ever see her. You try as hard as you can, but you never feel like you get it right. <laughs> Here he comes. Don't give in too easily, Margaret. Ah, oh, Mr. Pollard. Lovely cup of tea. Ah. Huh. <laughs> uh, about that uh, Garbo magazine, uh, one of the lady's signature? An important piece of Hollywood memorabilia. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, would you be interested in selling it? Afraid I couldn't part with it. Oh. For less than £200. <laughs> £200? She's got a Ronald Coleman you could have for 50 Or is it David Coleman? I always confuse the two. <laughs> <laughs> Pity you're not as confused about your prices. It's no surprise that she did the dirty on the mum. By she, you mean Viv. Well, who else? But him. He's just lied to me since I was a little girl, and I can't forgive him for that. Are you sure you didn't just hear what you wanted to? I told you exactly what they said. My mum died because they were having an affair. If I'd met with that Carol woman, I'd still be in the dark now. Liars. What's up? Nothing. I've got to get back to work. Yes, I'd better be off too. We left Paddy to it. You're not miffed because I'm living at your old house, are you? I really don't mind, one way or the other. <laughs> It'll be a few minutes, Mandy. I'm a bit short-staffed. Well, I can give you an for a few quid if you like. Really? Mm, it's not that I've got anyone to have a cup of coffee with, is it? Great. From Kelly Windsor to Lady Oakwell, talk about out of the frying pan into the fire. That creep of a husband destroyed her life as well as mine. I should never show it to you, but I've seen how vulnerable she is. And she hasn't exactly been bashed with the ugly stick either. Makes no difference now. Except you've got that look. What look? I've got your card, Mark. Glad you make a joke to avoid the subject. Seth does it all the time. Well, what am I supposed to do, Betty? I think you know exactly what you want to do. I think you want to keep going back for more. Oh, she's a bonny enough lass, but you must realise there's no future in it. You be careful, son. 
and phone us every day at the hotel we an update. If they find it on all farmland, Dad, they might think Chris has done it. All well, the more reason to bury it here. You'll be fine, son. I'll keep to it. Hey! I'm not doing it! Hick it, hack it, horses do that, hick it, hack it out. See? You are it. No, you're it. I'm out. But you can do the internment. That's what they call it in the trade. You can't make me do it, Dad. You're absolutely right. But I can't make your life a living hell if you don't. Now, we can wrap it in this. And this bed is brand new. You'll be all right, son. It'll be very dignified. This feed bloke's gone here without order. He's ordered half as much again, but he reckons he's already delivered it. Oh, I'll deal with him, irksome little man. Lady Oakwell, can I speak to you, please? The last time you dealt with him, he refused to deliver for a month. Leave it to me. Glover, a word now. I'll do the feed order. Is it important? Yes, madam. I think it is. Uh, keep an eye on James for me, Roy, will you? <laughs> Someone's cheerful. Oh, and so are you, maybe. You're just pleased to it Pollard. For £200. Uh, <laughs> he went for that magazine, you know, the one with Greta Garber's signature on it. <laughs> I always do have a greedy, but I never had him pegged for a was All right, Dad. <laughs> Calm down. Think about your blood pressure. Oh, don't fuss, dear. We're entitled to our moment of glory. Mm. Well, let me give you both a drink. You, you've done us all a favour. <laughs> Bye. Freeze it and all. <laughs> well, I look at charm for each other, Margaret. <laughs> I just feel as though we need to clear the air between us. Why now, all of a sudden? Well, because I don't think it occurred to me until today just how much you were in my thoughts, I guess. So, I've been in your thoughts. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. What does that mean? Have you thought about me? I could hardly avoid it. I spent half my day looking at the back of your head. So what do you think, then? Oh, I think a lot of things. Leg waxing hurts and international arms dealing is a bit of a worry. Yeah, you're right. Just forget I said anything. Whoa, 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 where's your mum, son? Eh? Come on. You shouldn't go wandering off like that. He was miles away from the water. Oh, and I'm supposed to know how long it's going to take him to throw himself in. I don't even like children. He was running. Yeah. Not as fast as you. I'm pretty quick off the mark. All oh, right. Let's see how fast Kim can run. Scrapping. Now's the time. Yeah, but, but Dad, what if they see us? Hey, come on! I warned you this morning about bringing your child to work. This is a stud farm, not a hippie commune. I asked you to watch him for five minutes. No, you didn't. What are you on about? Come on, there's no harm done. And it is none of your business. I was the one that found him. You fell flat on your face. Uh, because I was trying to stop him plunging in the lake. Can't you follow the simplest instruction? Oh, well, it's not my fault. It's your kid, Kim. Do you want the sack? You're not even his boss anymore. Yeah, thank you, Biff. You can go now. Roy, please get on with your work. You've never tried to pass the buck like that in business. I'm amazed you try with your son. What am I supposed to do? Oh, so you used to be rich, now you're not. Other women have to manage their work and their childcare. Is it clean? Oh, don't be so disgusting. But I don't want to have a study if you've got bogeys. Well, I bet they've seen all sorts in here. You first. You said you would. Well, I'm older, so I've set an example. All right, then. Toss you for it. Tails never fails. Best of three. Get in. I 
up. I never have to bury another dead body as long as I live. Yeah, well, unless you become an undertaker, you'll be unlucky if you have to. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Gardening. Yeah, you want, you want to have a word with that right, Glover. These weeds are a disgrace, are you? You don't touch anything on this property. Fine by me. I'm well, just trying to show Will it. Well, don't try anything at all. What have we got us there, Dad? Disinterred it. Hey, He's on to us, isn't he? We've got to find another spot. Don't worry, I'll keep two, son. She cried. I did not. She just made my eyes water a bit. <laughs> well, I hope your eyes don't water when your mum and dad see it, Donna. I can't tell you how daft you both look. Don't try, then. Well, your noses are like beacons. Pride's painful. That's what they say. Who's that, then? The other people in the stupid club. I don't know why the girls these days can't be content with just plucking their eyebrows. That's in a little bit of rouge, and we were happy. God, we're feminists. We don't believe in yanking our body hairs out. Don't be cheeky, Kirsty. You should have never let it happen in the first place. Oh, same old approach to parenting, I see. Oh, now I was being cheeky. Dad, unlike you, I believe that when your kid's already done something, you have to deal with it. There's no point chucking a wobbler after the event. Do you like it then, Mum? I think you look a right state, if you must know. That's why this cunt is in the mess it's in. People have got no standards anymore. Well, you're the one who's just conned 200 pounds out of someone. Everyone at school's going to be, like, totally jealous. Yeah, let's go in dead early tomorrow. Do you want to borrow my new black pants? Maybe I should get something pierced. Might get me into work on time. I got some nice bits and pieces. Make sure you keep your hands off. No, I said they were nice. I didn't say they were my taste. Uh, sorry about the garden incident earlier. Yeah, we were only trying to be useful. Dad, I've dug it up just like you said. Dug what up? Uh, yellow pages. Yeah, I fancy a Chinese tonight. Butch, get out of the sitting room in your filth. I'll take your hat off at least. Look, I don't know what you're up to, but... What, you... tonight? Well, nothing much, really, but thanks for asking. In fact, we thought we might all stop in and keep you company. We could have a sing-song round the piano. I'd rather hang myself. Ah. Well, charades, perhaps. If you're in, I'm out. Oh. Left her behind the skeleton, then, instead. Kim reckons she told me to look after Ben. But I'm just saying, Steve, if she did, I didn't hear her. What's your point? There's no point. I just feel bad about it, that's all. I thought you'd want to know. How's Kim now? Must have been a terrible shot. Anything could have happened. I'm sure she's fine. And what's Kim going to do about getting James looked after? Look, I've had a hard day and I just want a quiet drink after work, all right? Steve, it's half past nine. Haven't you been home? Take a wild guess. All falls into place now. What does? Well, the fact that Dad and Viv have never really been happy. When it comes down to you being with someone because you've lied and cheated and caused someone else to die, it's bound to be doomed, isn't it? You can never be properly happy. If I didn't hate him so much, I'd pity him. Dad, are you sure Chris Tatum's about? <clears throat> I drove him out hours ago with the threat of parlour games. Right, so where's he gone to then? How the hell do I know? Curb crawling properly, who cares? Right, so what are we doing? We are protecting our women folk against the horrors of modern society. Well, haven't we better bury this stiff first? I think you find it's part and parcel of the same thing, son. To you. No, to you. What? Got it. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, no, I think he's cracked it already. He's back. Hey. Get back in shed. <laughs> Was that him, Dad? Eh? Large is life and twice as ugly. Damn. We're not going to be able to bury this thing tonight. Not with him prowling about. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're going to have to stay in here with it, son. Till first light. <laughs> Why have I got to do it? Well, I'm married. You don't think Lisa wouldn't notice if I went in bed beside him tonight? Lisa will be glad at night's off, Dad. Oh! Oh, come on, Dad, I've dug it! I've undug it! You can't expect me, your, your big son, to stay in here all night with that thing, can you? Eh? I can, son. 
You've forgotten your keys again. Oh, sorry, I thought it was Steve. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. So, what do you want? Uh, I came to see how you were. Couldn't be better. Kim, I heard what happened with James. So it's all round the village what a feckless mother I am. No. Roy was upset. He told Steve about it in the pub. It wasn't Roy's fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. I just came round to see if there was anything I could do. Yeah, you could give me my old life back. I meant something practical. Try keeping your nose out. James is my brother, Kim. I know. I know it's good of you to ask. Look, uh, I've got to be up at six with the baby. Fair enough. Kim, I'll babysit or whatever else he needs, all right? Thanks. Zoe, if you just come from the wool pack. No, no, I, I left an hour ago. Right. Mm, you'll have to see yourself out. got a chance to finish this chat earlier on. Yes, we did. You stormed off. Aye, but you never gave me a chance to storm back. <sighs> no, it's too late for games. I think I'd crack my kneecap chasing that blasted child. Just take me home, please. No. Sorry. No can do. What are you doing? You can't leave me here. Not allowed to try. Well, I'll push you. You can free wheel it back. That's not illegal. But I'm injured, Biff. Take me to casualty right now. Mm, no can do. I'm handing my notice in. That means resigning. Why? You're not allowed to. As of when? Today. Now. I won the premium bonds, so I don't need the job anymore. Ta -ra -ta -ra. Yeah. Ah, you see, you can run when it suits you. How's your knee? You see, that's what it is about you. You can be very sophisticated, yet totally stupid at the same time. And I can't resist it. And does my sleeping with you prove my sophistication or my stupidity? I shall tell you in the morning. Oh, no, you won't. You worry and fret and make it as complicated as you possibly can. Not if you tell me not to. Come on, Tara. Tell me it'll be all right. Tell me not to worry. It's that simple. Will you do that? For me? <laughs> 